All right, so uh, Did You Know Gaming just released a video about unreleased N64 games, and one of them was Robotech Crystal Dreams, developed by Game Tech. Um, Game Tech went out of business, and uh, the reason I think I... I don't know, the story's a little hazy, but the reason why I have this cart is my grandfather was one of the people who foreclosed on their offices. Uh, like in the video, they said, uh, the Game Tech employee said uh, they uh, were just told to get their stuff and that's all. I think my grandpa was the one, one of the people who were uh, tasked with clearing the, the offices out. So um, this game was at the time developed by just one person. One person was working on it. Um, and I think this is the cart that, this may have been the cart that he was working off of or like the latest version. But um, this is uh, the same cart featured on Hidden Palace. Um, the, the picture of it, uh, it took on a different background, but this is the same cart. And I think this is the most recent ROM version. Uh, the E3 ROM that was dumped uh, originally was, uh, I think, the, an earlier build. So this is the latest one. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. And as you can see, it works. And this is indeed running off of an uh, N64. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only copy of this game, um, at least this version. So, so yeah, you can see it's... Uh, so you can see it's got like debug text on it. Sorry, and my phone isn't focusing. It's saying view and X form and weapon. I mean, they're just all the different buttons. Um, so it's very early. Um, I actually haven't been able to play it at all, but I mean, it works. All right, so there's a little bit more story to that. Um, this is my dad. He, uh, son of the guy who foreclosed them. So go ahead and tell him okay, what's up. So Game Tech was originally owned by uh, one of the founders of Amway. And he didn't really have a clue on how to run a video game company, so he just kind of left them to themselves. So uh, Game Tech, uh, kind of as you would expect, just like any kid, if you leave them alone for a while, kind of goes astray with some things. Um, essentially what they were doing, uh, doing our investigation, and when I say our investigation, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, they were using the... Uh, the funding that they had from Robotech to do other projects, to basically get other projects to come in. So that's why they only had one guy working on it? Well, there is about one guy. There was a couple of, there was a bunch of other employees there. Um, so uh, there's some other kind of things that were going on, such as, like, for instance, uh, the game company was located. Uh, next to a strip club, because <laughs> that was where the girlfriend of one of the uh, um, studio bosses, you know, that, that's where she worked. So hmm. that was one thing, so that kind of tells you where their focus was. Um, now, Game Tech had been, um, you know, they did a couple of other titles based off of game shows, you know, like Family Feud, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and so forth. So... That's where they were, you know, that's where their focus was. Those were kind of easy titles. This was going to be their big thing to kind of maybe take them to the next level. But as their focus wasn't really where it should have been, um, there were only just a few people that really cared about the game. Um, so they were losing money and um, they, there was a decision made that look, they, they need to shut the company down. Um, they had some, uh, you know, some great stuff there. Uh, now, the reason why um, I'm saying that is because there was, uh, my, my dad was basically the person that was put in charge to go shut down the company that, that weekend. So the guy, so he's, yeah, he's the one person there. So. so he put the sign up saying like, hey, well, uh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, a little bit further into that. Um, now, my dad had experience in some of those areas uh i was actually helping him behind the scenes because i worked at a video game company i worked at ensemble studio so i what were you working on then uh i was working on age of vampires two two okay yeah so um yeah i had just left uh ensemble 
So I was doing some stuff on the side that, um, kind of working with him. So, um, from there, um, my dad flew out to where Game Tech was. And, uh, one of the first things that he did is he went out there on a weekend. Um, now if, if you're at any kind of game company, you would know that people work there on the weekend. So they work there at all times of the day. And mm -hmm. you know, that wasn't the case. So he went in there. Um, he hired uh, some security, so to speak, as like a, a big guy because um, he knew what was going to happen. So we went on there like on a Friday, um, went in and did some inventory of everything. So he did the inventory of what was there, um, all the equipment that they had and so forth. And um, we took some video of it. I'm, I could probably go find that at some point in time. Mm -hmm. um, then, I mean, that's the great stuff. They had like a mocap. Uh, equipment. They had an SGI machine for wow. some stuff. Um, the nice ones. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice stuff. I mean, wow. They they were spending money, but not not using it. So they had they had all the cool tools, but they weren't using it, and they weren't allocating right. right. So uh, then, he, like during some of his inventory of stuff, he realized you know things were really messed up. Um, I think um, he was like opening up you know the cases, you know, just to make you know. This is back in the, the the late '90s, so he had these big cases. So he would take them off, and then he would just like write down what was inside of them. I think one of them had a sandwich inside. <laughs> I'm not joking. Mm, tasty. Uh, found out that the uh, secretary, uh, receptionist, um, I'm not exactly sure what her job title was. Uh, she was running a um, tax accounting um, side business from there, uh, so she was doing people's taxes there. Not even doing the Not normal doing, job? No. No, like I said, there were only about, as my dad put it, like maybe uh, two or three people at most that really cared about the game. And they really did care. Um, I mean, it shows they have a lot of project progress done. I mean, well, they, yeah. even, they even showed it at E3. So, um, well, so he went into the building and then he, um, one of the first things he did is he took off. Uh, all the power cables from every one of the computers mm -hmm. um, and then took all the network cables. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, took all those and put them off to the side. So uh, then they had, um, you know, the Monday morning when it came around, they had to sign up on the door telling everyone to, um, you know, things were closed and to come on in inside. And so everybody met in one room. And with, with, uh, with, with said security. And, and, uh, and, my, and my dad was there. And yeah. He basically just explained to them, like, okay, this is the deal. Um, you know, we're, we're shutting down Game Tech. We're really sorry, you know, about what had happened. And, and to be honest, my dad um, felt really bad because you could tell um, who cared about it and who didn't care about it. And uh, he, felt, he felt really terrible. Felt really terrible for the people that cared. Um, he did tell me that one of the guys that was giving his little speech, he got up, you know, from the meeting and kind of like walked back to where his computers were and realized, um, yeah, there was no power cables. So he was attempting, this is one of the care people that didn't care um, about it. So, um, so uh, yeah, yeah, the, the company was shut down from that point and they just kind of boxed up everything. Um, the, one of the few things that came out of it was, um, uh, we had that cartridge that, that we have now. I don't know what build that is. Apparently um, it's later than the E3 version. Possibly. I don't know exactly which one. Uh, I don't have debug kit. Um, cause I, um, in the video by Did You Know Gaming, they said one of the developers, or I guess... I guess they got a hold of one of the dev N64 right, kits yeah. and they dumped the E3 build off of it. Yeah, that may be in a, in a different state from this one, as you can, from what you saw, it's yeah. like super fast and everything like that. I don't have a, a debug kit uh, to do anything with it. But so that debug kit was probably sold um, from the liquidation sale, basically. Right. Now, all that being said, uh, they did still have the license for uh, Robotech. Um, I did try to make an effort. I did go to Ensemble Studios and asked them, I was like, hey, do you guys want to have, we've got the Robotech license, do you guys want it? 
So wait, Ensemble had the license at that point. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. no. I, I oh. made an offer to Ensemble. Oh, so you're kind of like the broker between them? Right. Okay. Because I, I, I knew people. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew a couple of other people in the industry at that time. Um, but Everyone else was busy with, with their license. So like all, the, all the companies in Dallas were busy with their own stuff? Yeah, exactly. You know, 3D Realms. Uh, uh, even at the time, Ion Storm. You know, Id? Ensemble. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Every, it didn't fit with anybody it was, that was doing stuff at the time. Mm -hmm. um, like, for instance, um, Ensemble, uh, we were, you know, working towards uh, wrapping up age two, uh, looking for our next title. And um, we had an offer to do uh, one of the Star Trek licenses. Uh, yeah, we were gonna maybe do a real time version of, uh, of Star Trek, but we wanted to do our own IP. Mm -hmm. So we were interested in, in uh, licensing because for us, our own IP would have been uh, a bigger deal. So. Like during the time we were discussing ideas that would a later turn into uh, Age of Mythology. So, and everyone else in Dallas was, you know, uh, at that time um, in the late '90s, everyone was doing, um, you know, 3D uh, shooters. So that's that's what Dallas was known for. So, yeah, yeah, no one really wanted it. Mm. So it's because everyone loves Robotech. Everyone loved Robotech. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's classic. So do you know how we ended up? Getting the cart? Did it just kind of slip yeah, through the cracks? The um, some of the other stuff that um, uh, we had, and this is you know, it was all allowed to give. You know, owner didn't really care. The Amway owner. So he oh, wanted, so he, to save he just wanted the money like from the yeah. from the SGI systems yeah. and the dev kits. Yeah. He didn't care about the cart. No, he didn't care about the cart. He didn't so. care about the. I've got a a, a DAT cassette of uh, Vanna White. Saying stuff from Wheel of Fortune. Oh, for um, the uh, Wheel of Fortune tie-in yeah, games. The, yeah, exactly. Um, I've got. Uh, I guess some of the Robotech videos. Uh, I, I have a signed autographed football from Jimmy Johnson because they also did Jimmy Johnson. Football. Oh yeah, I've got that in my room. Yeah, you got that in your room. So that's where that came from. Huh. I really wanted those SGI machines to see if I could just. Uh, the purple to, ones? Yeah, the purple, yeah. Oh, yeah, those yeah, are the really nice the ones. Yeah, stuff, but um, no, it, it was like in a storage locker. To this day, I don't know where that equipment is or anything like that. So. Yeah, well, I mean, we know at least one of the debug or dev kits got got in the hands of someone who dumped right, the, the realm. Yeah. And, they yeah. probably sold it to other devs or something. Yeah, I, I think I know which... If I were to go back and look at my dad's notes, uh, I think I know which dev it could have been that did that. And that was the, the one guy that cared. So um, I'd imagine. Yeah, and, and is a person that has worked on video games. Um, for something like that to happen to you, is it's a crushing thing. It really is to have years of your life put into something and knowing that no one will see the light of day of it. So Well, it's here now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that said, I, I feel bad for the management of Game Tech because uh, that studio, um, they had some good, they had good people working for them. They just didn't manage the company right. And it was, that was the reason why they got shut down. And I, I feel terrible for the people that cared. So, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, no problem.